Now question of the day, our motor determine normal force applied by inclined plane on 10 kg block. This one is a 10 kg block and frictional force. Okay. So how can be determined? First of all, make free by diagram of 10 kg, 10 kg block. Okay. Weight always downward. That is how much? 10 into G. If G this be equal to 10, then that one is how much? 100 Newton. That is 100 Newton. Are you so clear? After that, this one is 100 Newton now and this one is 20 Newton component of 20 Newton along this one is we have considered capital X axis and here capital Y axis this block moving along this direction or this direction so component of all forces component along X axis and capital Y axis okay so first of all all component resolving in direction capital X and capital Y so 20 this one is 20 cos 37 cos 37 is 0 0.8 so that is how much 20 into 0 0.8 this one is how much that is 16 newton okay and normal component of 20 newton is how much 20 sin 37 sin 37 is 0 0.6 so 20 into 0 0.6 that is how much that is 12 newton okay now after that this one is <coughs> if g is equal to 10 we have taken 10 meter per second square and this one is 100 newton okay component of 10 g okay yeah are 100 newton along this direction is how much if this one is 37 so that angle is also 37 okay so that is 100 cos 37 cos 37 is 0 0.8 so that is how much 80 newton okay and now component of 10 g or 100 newton along capital y x capital x axis that is how much 100 cos 100 sin 37 100 sin 37 that is how much this one is 0 0.6 so that is 60 newton 60 newton okay after that it is clear now normal force applied by applied by inclined plane on 10 kg block that is n1 always perpendicular to the plane that's why it represent like here okay now look look <coughs> this 10 kg block is not moving along capital y axis so net force on y capital y axis how much zero okay only possible if n1 plus here look here n1 plus 12 n1 plus 12 okay this is equal to how much 10 plus 80 okay 10 plus 80 newton okay now so what about n1 n1 is how much that is 90 minus basically 78 newton n1 is positive it means that one is right on <laughs> it means net force in y direction is zero it is clear okay now after that what about here n1 after that we have focus on limiting frictional force fl this be equal to mu s into n1 mu s is 0 0.2 n1 is 78 so what about that one simply 6 oh, 14 14 plus 1 17 so 15 point 6 newton so fl and what about fk kinetic frictional force that is mu k into n1 mu k is how much mu k what about mu k mu k is how much 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 into 78 so that is 7.8 newton okay now after that look here here 60 newton and this direction 16 newton here 60 here 16 okay this motion is possible only in the this direction or this direction so frictional force develop 
corresponding to driving force. What about driving force? Look here. Here 16 Newton and here 16. Here 60 minus 16. Net force. Net force is written as 60 minus how much 16? That is how much 46. Sorry, 44 Newton. 44 Newton. Okay. So net force develop in which direction? In this direction. Okay. Why? Because that force is greater than that force. Okay. So 60 Newton is greater than 16. So 60 minus 16. That is how much? 44. So that is 44 Newton. Net force. Okay. Of driving force. That is called driving force. F net. That is driving force. So frictional force generate in this direction. In this direction. Okay. So frictional force direction like that one. After that, what about frictional force? Look here. Driving force 44. What about limiting frictional force? Lifting friction 15.6. So now driving force or you can say that driving force is greater than frictional force. Limiting frictional force, okay, from in magnitude wise, in magnitude wise, that force is greater than that force. It means motion possible in which direction? Downward. It, it means this block is going on downward direction, okay. So, net force is written as 60 minus 16, okay, minus frictional force. How much? During motion, which frictional force act? Kinetic friction, so 7.8, this is equal to mass into acceleration. Mass is 10, acceleration is A. So, what about A? A is how much? That is 44 minus 7.8 7 divided by 10. So, what about A? Acceleration is how much? With the help of calculator, you can do simply. 44 minus 7.8 this will equal to 36.2 divided by 10 that is 3.6 3.6 meter per second square so acceleration of the block is 3.62 meter per second square and during motion which frictional force are act kinetic frictional force act that is 7.8 so according to question frictional force is how much 7.8 newton Okay, and normal force is 78 Newton. So that one is 78 Newton. I also clear, make it.